I just hit the nay nay and hit the record button at the same time. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. That's, that's more like the Squidward. No, yeah. he's doing the Harlem Shake. I thought it was the Dougie. I swear. The Dougie is this. Really? What is the one where you bend at the waist oh, backwards that's, um, and you let your arms dangle? There is a word. There is a name for that one. It's, it's not, not the Dougie. It's not the Dougie. It's not the Harlem no, Shake. No, that's the Dallas Dangle. I don't think it's the Dallas Dangle. <laughs> All right. Anyone in the comments, I want you to tell me what this is. Oh, nice. Wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, you. Yeah. Wobble, baby, wobble, oh, baby, wobble, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. seen that. Yeah. Like I've seen that. that before. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. is that? That's what we're asking, Dane. Well, or are you just adding to the, I'm sorry. Don't I'm yell really at my upset. Dane. I'm upset today. I'm having a bad day. Don't you, don't you know you're Dane? Don't you... Yeah, let my. I want to point out that Ian is raw dogging don't, it don't, for Wiki don't, Feet don't, today. Don't, don't you <laughs> for free? It's on my Dane. You know what the problem with some uh, white people like me? The what? problem is with some white people like me. Our feet are freaking yellow. <laughs> Why are my feet yellow? Whoa, Homer Simpson. <laughs> this is crazy. Is that how they developed the yellow skin in The Simpsons? Yeah, they looked at the underfeet of white people. And they, <laughs> and they were like, wait a minute. That makes me think. I think yellow is just the color of calluses. Oh, you're correct. Oh, yes. so you just have yeah. calloused feet. Yeah. Mine don't look like that. Mine are red. Well, his feet look like that, so your feet can look like that. Does that make sense? <laughs> uh, my feet look like this, so her feet can look like that. It's socketed. It's like wealth. I would it's never. Comfort. I would never ever in a million years expose my bare feet unedited yeah. to the world. Just so you know, I have disgusting <laughs> feet. I'm putting it out right now. Listen, she's putting that mildly. <laughs> you have Michelle Yeoh. No, no, that's not true. No, I just. Her feet are great. Uh, you don't have to lie, babe. I'm not lying. I'm just saying, like. <laughs> Listen, you're very self-critical, you're hypercritical, and, uh, you know, I've seen, I've seen your feet. <laughs> I've seen your what? feet. What? Rare, uh, rarely. When, no, when? So, when? no, it's this, uh, I think, to be honest, it's kind of the, and I don't think this is a fair word. I'm going to come out and say it. I think the word bunion is a fucked up word to describe a little pointing of the of the toes. No, the coming I do together agree. of the toes. I agree that a bunion it bunion is not the right it word. It makes it sound like it's a big yeah. disgusting uh, infected Wart. boil. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I do have bunions on both of my feet and I, I think I've talked about this before. But since we were talking about, you know, how I lived in a shack with a shower that was duct taped together, mm -hmm. we might as well just go all the way with it. Yeah. My, Wait, did we talk about that in the bog? No, we talked I think about we that. Did. No, it was no? the podcast. Okay. Yeah. Um, but so um my family, there were a lot of us and we wanted to play sports and sports are expensive. So uh we would go to this place in Edmonton called Totem. Uh, sports and totem sports had like bins of used equipment that you could mm. kind of like dig through and buy for like really cheap um and skates are very expensive so we would go to totem sports and we dig in the bins and we'd look at you know see what equipment we could get that year mm -hmm. you know it was always used equipment and uh skates always use skates and it's very hard to find skates in a bargain bin that actually fit your feet of course so um my dad uh he preferred and and i did as well i preferred tighter skates rather than looser skates so uh for probably some formative years of my life when is it called totem outfitters yeah okay yeah there's um uh probably in some formative years of my feet i was wearing skates that were far too small for my feet and it has caused Big bunions. My big toes on both sides go in. <laughs> oh, and I have a bunions. bone. But from I will out. say, yeah. Uh, and LeBron might know this. You can reverse bunions. LeBron James. It was surgery. I don't think so. I think your bunions go away. Like your bunions, your bunions has been going go away. <laughs> why you? Why you sound like Doodle Bob? No, me, no, me, no, me. Um. Your bunions have been going away. Oh, thank you. Yeah. They, yeah so they are with like where like with not with extended years of not packing your yeah. feet into shoes and it's getting better. Yeah, I have that, and then because I have the bunions, the way that my 
big toe makes contact with the ground, I have built up calluses mm -hmm. on the outside of my big toe on both right. sides because my feet were kind of... So I'm insecure about it. Mm -hmm. I'm also Arab. Um, so I hey, do... that's got nothing to do with it. I do develop hair on my big toe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to, like, stack on the debuff? I do. I think it's important. Okay. Because I don't want people to think that I'm unnecessarily hating on my feet. I'm being critical of my... You know, like, Megan Fox right. has a thumb, th like a oh. toe thumb? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have... That's cool. You know, and Megan has... Fox is considered slay. Yeah. To me. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. No, like, yeah. okay, cool. I love that. Yeah. So that's my truth. And that's why you'll never see mm. me with my bare feet unedited. And why I've never mm. made feet content on mm. OF or uh, elsewhere. And I censor my bare feet if I sometimes forget to put on socks or whatever. Mm -hmm. I do censor my bare feet on Twitter. And I lie and say it's because I don't want to give it out for free. But it's actually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just don't want... Yeah. <laughs> see my feet. <laughs> That's just the truth. Too much work to do. Yeah, uh, it's you know? very hard to edit feet. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a lot of textures going on and stuff. Yeah. And it becomes very obvious. It just looks like you're wearing a skin yeah. sock. Ew. If you, like, Man. edit it too hard, you know? So. Man, Megan Fox had, like, a stranglehold on teenage boys in, like, 2008. She had a stranglehold on me. Not me. me. She Not me. She had a stranglehold on me in 2008. Uh, Jessica Alba had a stranglehold on Ian in 2008. Yeah. That's another, that's another one. That's Yeah, Jessica Alba and Megan Fox were, were double teaming the teenage boy market. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Dane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> back, 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 back. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I do have uh, some interesting topics today. Yeah. They're more like out of my own head. This time I uh, tried to not look up like news articles, just free thoughts. Uh, so the opposite of what people in the cause have been asking for. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. No, I like it. I think that's what makes us special. Um. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, I wrote down here blonde rights. I wrote down blonde rights because I was thinking like we always talk about all these different groups. Yeah. And like what these different groups have as far as like rights and uh, privileges. Mm -hmm. And you, just thinking about like uh, the, the extra priv privileges that you get as a blonde person. Yeah. I think it needs to be acknowledged. I agree. Uh, and I think we should probably carve out some rules. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... And I'm not saying like in law or anything, but yeah. like maybe at bowling alleys. We should make legislation. I think we should. You think so? Right to Congress. I'm confused. Uh, are you saying that they should have less or more rights? Less rights. <laughs> right. oh, okay. Because when you say blonde rights, it doesn't imply that. Okay. Blonde l parentheses less rights. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So the I think the reason why Ian's talking about this is um, I went blonde, not this last time, but... Uh, maybe like five years ago, I went blonde for a very short period of time. Um, and I heard my girlfriends talk about like... Not five years ago. You did it like this past year, remember? No, I know. I'm oh. saying not this time, oh, but the I first time I, I did that it. That was more of a platinum. Sorry. Yeah, that was more of like a uh, Daenerys platinum. Stone blonde. Yeah, blonde. Okay. Um, but so the, the first time I did it, I went for a more natural blonde. And I had friends that told me, like, when you go blonde, people treat you differently. And I, I didn't really, like, buy it. Um, but when I did go blonde, uh, I went to uh, TwitchCon, as I do every year. And the amount of attention that I got was insane. Mm -hmm. And nothing about me had changed except my hair turning blonde and i'm not like i'm not saying this to to like i want to clarify it's not because it was anything to do with me i am convinced that the blonde hair like does something to people that i cannot explain there was uh i wonder if it happens to men i don't know as well don't... like but it like is maybe more imperceptible it's like a you know if 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 women get it it's like a 50% increase with men, it's maybe 5% increase. So it goes I, under the radar. I'm sure there were, like, I, I want to, like, 
clarify, like, it's not like this was subtle either. Like, this isn't like, oh, I think people were smiling at me more. Like, we at TwitchCon, when I was standing outside of TwitchCon, a security guard ran out of the building to ask me out on a date. (laughs) To ask me out on a date. (laughs) And then I, and then after that, we went to a coffee shop in one of the outdoor malls. The barista wanted my number. I was getting grabbed more at parties. That dude that got outed for being a literal rapist and went to jail Mm -hmm. in the gaming community when that Me Too movement stuff, he was grabbing me. I didn't even know this guy. And he Mm -hmm. was grabbing me at uh, a party inappropriately. I was so uncomfortable. Like, I was getting touched, grabbed, talked to in ways that I can't describe. And I didn't know. I was like, man. Okay, well, maybe maybe I should reverse this theory. Maybe they should have more rights because they're getting grabbed more. I do think, well, th- it comes, it's a caveat, right? <laughs> There's a lot of women who've talked about like, yeah, I, st- oh, I stopped uh you know dyeing my hair blonde or like whatever and like all these there's different if you go brown Mm -hmm. you get pretty much left alone yeah redheads get sexualized Mm -hmm. a lot as well so if you dye your hair red um you'll get a lot of weird questions Mm -hmm. but the i'm telling you this fire crotch yeah so does a cover message (laughs) drapes this was such a stark difference for me that um when i dyed it black uh, back to my natural color all those privileges, or not pri- I, not privileges. Yeah. All those things that I, that I was experiencing went away, mm-hmm. and I thought I was like, I'm a crazy person. I'm just gonna mm-hmm. keep this to myself. But I've seen other people talk about it since then, mm-hmm. and now I'm sure that that's what it was because I have never had. Well, that I guess I was thinking of it in the same way. Like I, I broached the subject, maybe a little bit irresponsibly, but mm-hmm. the idea being that. Uh, because it's some people would say women have it really easy yeah. because their brains immediately go to, well, you get attention. That's only a good thing is getting attention. Yeah. Uh, which isn't uh, the case. Yeah. Um, and like, I don't know, other lame examples like getting a free beer. Yeah. Someone giving you a beer, no strings attached. I mean, like, uh, it which was is not really the free case. Drinks. Yeah. Free drinks. It was a self esteem booster. Sure, mm. but would not trade it for mm. the inappropriate grabbing like okay. that was happening to me. I was at this party. I've never really told this. This guy's in jail. Literally. Okay, well, wait, how about this? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. And to take away the seriousness of what you're talking about. Well, thanks for silencing women. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how some dogs huh? will get like, uh, like <laughs> stay away from me. I bite. Yeah. Or I I have needs. Yeah, or, yeah. The the things that they're outfitted yeah, on. Yeah, some sort of vest that yeah. says I have a predisposition to get the fuck away from me. Yeah. Um, blondes can have something like that. That's why they if do. Yeah, get tattooed. Oh. Well, like, I was gonna say make your hair short. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. Oh, make nice. your hair short. Get tattooed. Okay. All of those things cancel out the blondness. Because um, people were making fun of Bad Baby because after she got like a like a beaten up by her spouse or something mm-hmm. she got what people were calling the wife the the beaten wife haircut which is basically she just like cut her hair extremely short and that was the first time i've ever like heard of that people were just like oh classic like whitney houston type thing like mm-hmm. where after it comes out that you're being abused you get a haircut that makes you look like uh, less feminine so that people fucking leave you alone. Yeah. It's just and I was like, like, Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Alone. And it does. It works. Trust me from someone who's shaved their head twice, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, it works. Tattoos help. Um, sometimes some, if you are really feminine and blonde and you have tattoos, I think you attract a certain crowd mm-hmm. still. I, I mean, uh, the most famous example probably is Britney Spears. Yeah. I mean, she was blonde and then she was like, fucking leave me alone. So she shaved her head. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really work. No. But, but I mean, that's what, because, like, I, again, like, just to, like, because I told Ian about this, like, right away once I came home, because it was, like, such a gross, shitty thing that happened to me. I'm not shocked. That, this guy's literally in jail, so there's no point even, like, looking up his name or whatever. But he, I was at a party, didn't know this guy at all, never met him, runs up to me, right, grabs me by my ass like just whatever and just starts like uh, like uh like the the whole picking up yes by the ass yes. thing 
picking up by the ass and like was like spinning me around. He was care. He was he's very big, and I the whole time I was like, "Can you put me down?" Like I do not. He did not give a shit, and I have never had that type of interaction. Only when I was blonde. I don't know. I'm saying it's crazy. So there's a trade where like yes, you will get uh noticed more. Perhaps you can like. I don't but know. It's not it's necessarily, not worth it. yeah, what you expect it to be. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot. You know of what I think it is. With it, mm. I I think that like you were, we were trying to like make this comparison to like men's experience. Mm-hmm. I think that in general, people find darker haired men more intimidating. Yes, I think that darker hair in general is just more intimidating. Like mm-hmm. I think that blonde blonde men, I think, are generally looked at as being a little bit more effeminate, like slightly. Ah, uh, you know what? The golden mm. retriever boyfriend thing. Oh, exactly. Okay. Right? Blonde. Like right. even just the concept of blonde, right. I think we view them as like more yeah. fun, more laid back, more sexual. Like it's Well, yeah, and when you think about it's... SpongeBob, he's yellow. <laughs> you know. <laughs> like right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Right, Ian. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Well, like, just think about yellow. all of the yellow slash blonde oh, characters. Oh, I understand. Yeah, you're right. It is associated with like <laughs> I'm trying to help. I'm no, no, no. I I purposefully just so you're aware. I purposefully did a uh, that in that I hate, real way. I hate. I hate that like Ian will like bend himself into a pretzel just to see if I'll come over and try to untangle it. <laughs> oh no, you don't need to untangle me. Ian's I do like, like that that analogy though. <laughs> yeah, that I'll is bend funny. myself into a pretzel. <laughs> Like Ian's love language is. <laughs> Will you be uh, yeah, able I fucking to love that. I really want to like literally bend myself into a pretzel right now <laughs> and see if I'll and have you take me apart. Yeah, rush over and try to fix it for you. <laughs> like you bend yourself into oh, a no, pretzel, babe. and you go, ow, oh, ow, oh, and I'm trying to like I save you. I have bonitis, <laughs> yeah. babe. Yeah, literally. Uh, okay, so lovely jumping off point. I love the blonde conversation. Now we're moving on to. Uh, I have this – I watched this TikTok of this, like, really cool, like, industrial machine that was, like, putting together, like, something. Or, like, it was, like, maybe – I don't know. Maybe it was, like, a water jet that was, like, carving something out. And the the device that was holding it, it kind of – like, the patterns, the metal formed, like, a swastika-type shape. Mm. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, that's not good. <laughs> mm. And I was thinking – like, cause I'll like, if I'm drawing a picture, I'm sketching in my sketchbook, mm-hmm. like I'm trying to do cool designs and stuff. Like, you know, I'm trying to avoid drawing swastikas. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, well, what if that's like a really useful shape in engineering in some way? <laughs> Are they taught to like avoid that you think? Well, I told you this uh, when we were watching uh, house the house flipping show, cause they found this furniture and I looked at it, and I was like, that's a swastika. Like, not, it wasn't an intentional swastika. Yeah. It's like, I, I was telling Ian this, in design... It's uh, the Buddhism symbol for peace yes, or something. It, yes, it is. But in design class, the first thing they teach you is to always, when you're done designing something, look at it and say, is this a swastika? <laughs> <laughs> that's a real so thing. crazy. I'm not even kidding. That's a real thing. You have yeah. to ask yourself... Is this a swastika? Because the amount of times, especially if you're repeating a pattern, Mm -hmm. the amount of times you accidentally make a swastika is insane. Yeah. And I mean, it's a symmetrical, repetitive pattern. Yeah. You know? So, Mm. like, it is true. And I'm telling you, anyone who is listening to this that has ever done a design course, it is something that you do get taught. So, it is, you do have to avoid it. I, yeah, I, I'm wondering for engineers, though. Probably not. No. They're just, they're probably like, well, it's going to be behind, it's going to have like a, it's behind the scenes. Are you asking if like, there's like gearboxes that just have swastikas in them? Or what not necessarily. Asking? Well, like the way it was holding this thing, it was like uh, holding like a, a cube shaped thing. And it looked like, you know, the way it was holding it, yeah. it like looked like a swastika. I mean, and I was it, like, well... I if wonder. It's not a symbol. Yeah. You can visually see. It if if it's matter. like super necessary for a particular design, it's like, you know, it, like if the swastika or something like it was the fastest shape, it's like, would car manufacturers like not like refuse to use it on their cars? Imagine cancel culture gets so extreme mm-hmm. that people start taking apart their devices to see if 
there's <laughs> swastikas inside. It's striking it, yeah. <laughs> there's a, Did you guys know Sony's Nazis? <laughs> I open up my Sony PlayStation 1 and there's a the swastika circuit in board. there. <laughs> yeah, on the circuit board. It was super suspicious the way these wires are oriented. Yeah. Not good. Not good. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, people were trying to do that with the uh, spiral as well with pedophiles. Really? Really? You know, do you never hear about that? Uh -huh. Like how people? I mean, it's more of a conspiracy theory than anything. But people think that like uh, uh, the the international pedophile symbol is like just a spiral. It's oh. just like uh -oh. making a line and making it spiral. That sucks like, for spirals. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, that's the most common the fucking fuckings. thing you can do or that, draw or doodle. Wait. Like, wh how is that a, a symbol for something like that? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, that sucks for snails. That's, yeah, exactly. What the snails hell? Are, snails, snails are pedos. sucks for hell? fucking natos. All the, all the snails and natos are, are pedophiles. What the hell? <laughs> we got to call someone. And the pine cones, yeah. too, maybe. No, not really. No, but maybe like whirlpools. <laughs> <laughs> maybe whirlpools. Oh, no. Junji. Junji. The oh, artist, he true. made a whole horror about spirals. Is that about uh, pedophiles, you think? Perhaps. No, it's not. <laughs> um, <laughs> toilet. Toilet pedophile. Oh. Don't flush. Uh -oh. Don't flush. Oh, <laughs> True. Hmm, it really makes you think. You know that one <laughs> artist that does the famous like optical illusion arts that are spirals? Um, he's in trouble. Someone check his check his hydro. <laughs> oh, lately, check his, lately, check NPC. <laughs> lately, check his spiral. <laughs> oh, check Spyro. Mm -hmm. Check on Spyro. Make sure he's okay. No, that's something else. That's something else. <laughs> Spyro lets the like. It's like, man, I can only think of like Pokemon. I think he's like a special pyro is, guy. Oh yeah, the Poliwhirl. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Poliwhirl. <laughs> That'd be really telling if you asked uh, PDF files like what's their favorite Pokemon. Oh. <gasps> like <laughs> Oh, so you know how they like You can tell without telling. Psychopath's favorite color is orange. And pedophile's favorite Pokemon is Poliwhirl. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. I'm sorry for all the Poliwhirl enthusiasts. You're valid. Yeah. Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, Poliwag. We won't check your computer. I will say, though, if your favorite Pokemon is Poliwhirl, I'm... It's... You, we got some there's questions. A, there's a lot that you should be picking from before Poliwhirl. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm pretty okay. sure Poliwhirl or Poliwag, one of those two, was the first Pokemon that was ever designed. I think so it's Poliwhirl. We got to check the Pokemon creator's PC. Oh, shit. Okay. He didn't have one. It was back in like Where's 1995. <laughs> <laughs> he probably had like one of those really big ones that took up like a whole room. <laughs> right. He had a all... <laughs> With <laughs> a little dime sized uh, monitor. Yeah, that did Pong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that did and it Pong. He had like a 512 megabyte hard drive that he could fit like four pictures on it. <laughs> and it's all PNGs of his dog. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have PNGs back then. Oh, that's true. Yeah, exposed. <laughs> exposed. Uh, okay, next up. I saw this uh, TikTok where this guy was explaining we should start using, uh, the, instead of using the grading scale 1 to 10 mm -hmm. for rating things, we should use negative 5 to 5 uh, because that makes it a little bit clearer in your brain. Uh, I like that. Yeah. What the what the feeling is for the thing. Agreed. Um, I agree. And I agreed with it. And I, I want to share into it. this problem a lot, actually, because I like to rate movies on Letterboxd. And I personally think that if I rate something, uh, cause it's a one, it's like a one and a half star to five star rating. Mm. I rate movies that I think are okay. A two and a half, but I see so many people where if they like hate a movie, they'll give it like three stars. Be like, the movie fucking sucked. Three stars. Man. Oh. And I'm like, that's a six out of ten. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. If you hated it, it should be a one out of ten, right? We mm -hmm. need to get on the same page with we that. We do. I totally yes. agree. People's like, rating systems are not bell curves. No. Because we can all agree on certain words. It's not like we're incapable of agreeing on a rating system. We absolutely yeah. can no, figure it I out. I agree. But do you know what pisses me off? Uh, what is that, Anissa? <laughs> What pisses me off is when you're trying to find a restaurant mm -hmm. and you look at the ratings and you look at like, it's got like a four out of five stars and you have to guess like, mm. is this an actual four out of five stars or is this a one out of five, four mm -hmm. out of five <laughs> stars? Yeah. Because yeah. like, I feel like 
both yep. happen. Both happen. And I hate that. Yeah. We need to get on the same page with how we're rating these fucking restaurants because I don't want to be bamboozled by a four out of five that's actually a one uh -huh. out of five. Well, it's also worth noting as well that, like, you know, we are kind of particular in, like, what we want to watch. You don't want to waste your time watching, like, an incredibly bad movie. Yeah. And people don't want to make incredibly bad movies that make people want to, like, gouge their eyes out. Yeah. So, like, truthfully, like, there shouldn't be that many things that are a fucking, uh, in this case, with this grading scale, very few that are a negative five. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it would have to be, like, a crime against humanity. I think if, for me, like... If I'm walking out of a movie theater, which I've done twice, mm -hmm. uh, it should be a negative five. Yeah. Like um, okay, so question about that. Yeah. I can imagine walking out of a theater because it is like a traumatic thing. Like it's a triggering uh, movie in one way or another. Yeah. Like a rape scene or like some shit like that. Yeah. Um, w like what? What were the movies that you walked out on, and like, why did you think it was? I'm scared that to bad. share because I don't want like people it to be because they were like they were. So th I'll give you the reason why I walked out. Okay, for both of them, um, they were really long uh -huh. and boring. Okay, I think that that's extremely valid because yeah. the whole point is if you're not enjoying yourself. Yeah, I've got like, better things to do. Yeah, I already it's ate not my worth popcorn. It. I'm so curious what movies they were. <laughs> I know you don't want to say that. One of them I wanted to walk out of while I was watching it with Ian, but uh, we decided not to. Oh. Uh, there'd be more than two. Yeah. But uh, you know which one that I is. I do know which one, yeah. 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 Oh, we, oh, let's bleep it. Okay. For fun. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell Dane. Um, I want to put it on Dane's camera so he can have a <laughs> face. <laughs> well, uh, he's not going to. I think he gets it. Mm, uh, mm. John Wick. <laughs> yeah that, so. that's totally okay I, that wasn't the one i was thinking it was oh which one were you i thought you were thinking of dune dune 2 i d not, no not yeah. dune 2 but, but dune, dune 1 i did yeah. uh we i really wanted to walk out of dune for the yeah yeah so but did you want to oh go ahead but for the first one you said is it just uh because it was boring you said yeah it was really boring and oh, dumb. okay interesting yeah i think i mean I agree that it was dumb. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't boring, though. I mean, it was like, it's an action movie. I understand why, for a lot of people, it wouldn't be seen as boring, but mm -hmm. I don't value choreography <laughs> at right. all. Right, I get that, yeah. <laughs> so it, it is it is like a it is like a choreography nerd movie where yes. it's just like, wow, th they practiced that for a long time. Look, That's at cool. they held this, sh this continuous shot, and they were able to pull it all off. Awesome. Yeah. Which is why, like, mm -hmm. I don't talk about it very... Because uh -huh. I get it. I get why people like it. I yeah. just right. would rather... I'm trying to something think else. I'm like... in a very similar boat with you, to be honest. I mean, uh, I wouldn't walk out of, of that movie, but I I agree. Okay. With the, with the general thing you're because saying. Because let me... Uh, the reason why I felt like it was brave to say is because Ian was... Well, it's a very well-loved movie. <laughs> yeah, Ian's a massive fan of that movie yeah so, oh yeah yeah okay interesting and, and when we went it, like i felt bad for him because i definitely like ruined it for him like Aww. i ruined well no i think you tempered my uh excitement for it because yeah. i think if i was probably on my own i think i would give it a little too much uh like grace and yeah. you know mm -hmm. uh excuses mm -hmm. and i don't think it really deserves that yeah um it's it's okay it's okay. It feels like Fast and the Furious yeah. in a lot of ways. Maybe yeah. a little bit. It's better cooler. than that. Yeah. In my opinion. Uh, in it's my like opinion. The, it's the thinking man's Fast and the Furious. It, yeah. That's. I, by the way. <gasps> it's the Sigma male Fast and Furious. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary to bleep that. Oh. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. Okay. I well. think you'd be surprised how many people might agree with you. But yeah. I mean, if it gets shared on the John Wick subreddit, like. That's kind of poggers. Here's my theory. I honestly think that the reason why it popped off is because Zoomers just never saw The Matrix. Uh, <laughs> and if they would have seen The Matrix, I think they would have been like, oh, this is like that. And they would have been a little less impressed because it is basically just that. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, that's correct. Also, no one's like, it's not that deep of a movie. It's an action no. movie. It's fun. That's all it's meant to be is a little bit fun. Sorry, I just disassociated and had war flashbacks. Okay, that's fine. 
<laughs> hey, nothing, nothing wrong with disassociating. Edit, edit in Metallica's with... one there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, he's in a coma. And he, but I know, he can but still the, hear but everything. At the beginning, yeah, but at the beginning oh, of that, there's like a bunch of like sounds. Uh, shooting sounds and stuff. Yeah. Like he's like in bed remembering. Yeah. It. Uh, okay, <laughs> so I recently became... Uh, Gay. In, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what I was going to say, you <laughs> freaking ridiculous people. Oh, <laughs> you what? almost said you what? Almost said oh. <laughs> what? You thought I was going to say something <laughs> ridiculous? <laughs> no, I was just thinking about fucking Rob Deerdeck, and I couldn't like get it out of my head. Who the fuck is that? Ridiculousness. You guys are silly. Rob Deerdeck. You're sick. No. I'm not. Wait, so you're gay and you got a vasectomy? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is my wife bullying me? That's so <laughs> not right. That's... That hurted my feelings. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Listen, sorry. listen. Sorry, I'm done. Okay. Uh, you made me lose my train of thought. No, okay. speak your truth, King. Yeah. Sorry. I'm speaking it. Don't yuck my yum. Uh, oh. I became why am I why am I wording it that way? I learned the word mog and like mogging. Oh yeah, oh. that's a Gen Z's like favorite yeah. thing. To, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is fascinating. Yeah. It's like a whole new world. Yeah. Uh <laughs> the the I think Urban Dictionary used it in the sense what was it? It was like Christina Hendricks was mogging the women around her or something yeah, like that. Yeah, they use that a lot. My favorite was this guy was trying to show off his fit at a train station. Yeah. And this, like, dapper, like, just totally, like, decked out in the cleanest fit you've ever seen, like, casually just, like, walks behind him and, like, unaware, uncaring of the, mm -hmm. what's happening and just completely, like... The caption was like, I just got mogged by some random <laughs> train goer. Uh, okay, basically. I like that usage when it feels like you've been like uh you've been injured in some way. You've been uh like like uh, you've received uh like a, a mogging. A mogging? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. kinda of like mugging. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Got uh, mogged in a back alley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I put on here, I mean, I had a lot of thoughts about this. Um, uh, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Like, so it's mainly like a visual thing. Like if someone's like more attractive yeah. than you, yeah. it seemed like uh, it was defined as like physically attractive, better fashion, mm -hmm. better jawline, yeah. better biology than you. Or yeah. what's not biology. Uh, what's the word I'm looking eugenics. for? <laughs> Gen um, genetics or yeah i know that is that is basically what it is i know which that's is... what i think it's that's the context in which it's used is like someone is more that's what creeps me out about yeah. it though because we are creeping into oh yeah eugenics stuff. the scary thing like people talk about this pipeline all the time which mm -hmm. is absolutely a thing where there's like you it's just the beginning of the hill that you can descend down in and it seems benign until you like think about it a little bit more like mogging based on genetics is like we need to especially kids they have no fucking clue yeah it's so um, creepy it's just adding to that like horrible feeling yeah it and... reminds me of like the shooter uh the yeah trump shooter like oh my when god people guys were posting pictures they were like phenotype yeah which is a uh... yeah crazy well i uh, on the day uh, Trump's ear was uh, blasted mm -hmm. from the past. Oh, nice. Um, it. Uh, I went on my TikTok and I was like, scroll, <laughs> just trying to figure out like, what is the, like, what are people saying about this? Mm -hmm. And already it was like this uh, weird uh, facial symmetry, like attractiveness account. Oh yeah, I remember that. It was that. like detailing how ugly the shooter was. Yeah. And like pointing out all the reasons, like circling, it's like this super high production thing. And it was like, holy fuck. That again, though. This is crazy. It's, 
it is a little terrifying because a lot of these talking points, a lot of the measures and things that they're valuing, mm-hmm. I don't think people know like the history behind a lot of that. It yeah. was from a Nazi scientist who was researching skulls to find the most beautiful mm-hmm. race of people, which he decided was the Aryan race, which is like the in the Caucasus Mountains or whatever. Mm-hmm. A lot of these like measurement things and mm-hmm. like things where they're like, oh, this is like the perfect beauty. The Even like the golden ratio and stuff, it gets into like, yeah, it's weird. It's creepy. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, but a lot of people obviously don't know that, and then you're consuming the mm-hmm. Even, like, incels. Like, incels cry about Canthal Tilt. Like, mm-hmm. Canthal Tilt entered, like, uh, uh, normal yeah. uh, conversation. That used to be something that was for incel Reddit f- threads yeah. and forums only. It's weirdly obsessive. Like, yeah. if you're talking about that as obsessively as some people are, like, it's yeah. way, like, you are, you are... In too deep. Yeah. Predator Prey Eyes is another one. Yeah, yeah. That one's so funny. That one's from incel, yeah. the, from the incel right. community. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if mogging came from the incel community. Yeah, first. yeah. Well, it's interesting you bring up Urban Dictionary because the by far the most upvoted like uh, definition on mm. Urban Dictionary for mogging is like has nothing to do with that. With genetics? So, says mogging is the uh, act of lying down on a bench when doing so might be considered disrespectful. No, uh, that's not it, what people are using. That's not, yeah. <laughs> but it has like 1,400 upvotes. It's probably because it's the one that been were... on there for so long. Oh, like, well, so. No, no, that one was in 2019, and then the one from 2020 only has like 158 upvotes, and that's the one you were talking about mm. with Christina Hendricks absolutely mogging her co-stalls right yeah. now. I've uh, seen but, mogging uh, but being I've, used a lot. In yeah, like, yeah, but... Yeah. I was under the impression that it was basically just like, uh, yeah, being being handsome or beautiful. But um, Urban Dictionary has it fucking wrong. I think yeah. it's offensive. I no, it is about like I don't know. It's uh, it's fine. I hate being that person. I just think that it's good to like talk about. Of course, that's why I brought it up because I do yeah. think it. There is a. It's it's weird. It, yeah. This is like a, a very. It's it's new territory. It's a like a Gen Z slang type of thing. Yeah. Um, well, Gen Z really loves bullying people. I will say. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, that is like a, a defining part of that culture. Uh, maybe that's very millennial of me to point out. Well, because I want everybody to be friends or whatever. Like whatever the stereotype for millennials are, that everybody that they're too optimistic. But it's like you literally go into the comment section of literally any TikTok ever. And it's just people being absolutely mean for no reason. I think that people just will, uh, find any opportunity to absolutely just bully the shit out of people. I will what? say they learned it from us. A hundred percent. Well, like, yeah. I mean, look all at of the, got, all of the Ian things was like, you know, he grew off of time to mog. <laughs> like, I mean, like we, yeah. a lot of millennial content creators, like, still do and have in the past like yeah it's bullied it's very it, it, like like look at leafy leafy's a millennial and that guy was like the king of bullying people. yeah it's yeah it is um the argument is basically that it is funny and it's unfortunate because it's just it's kind of like uh in the same realm of like edgy jokes or whatever yeah where it's like the lowest hanging fruit Um, and it makes, it's, I think it's, it's, uh, humor that's doing two things. I think it's making you feel better and it's also doing some kind of joke. So it's like very high value, uh, comedy or whatever. It's also like a cycle, like a self, like a, Mm -hmm. the more you make fun of someone, the more attention you're getting, the better you feel about yourself. So you're kind of like getting Mm -hmm. the double dose or whatever. Yeah. Um, Bullying definitely d- d- started with us mm-hmm. as a as a generation, and yeah. I think Gen Z perfected it. Mm-hmm. I think Gen Z <laughs> they're, definitely they're perfected it. We we start. Hey, you're right. We started the fire, but they're fanning the flames, and now it's like burning the fucking house mm-hmm. down. Yeah. So like, I think it's a uh, a team effort. Yeah, I think uh, I, I wrote down some uh, new uh, some like uh, maybe this isn't helping, but. I'm going to continue to fan the flames. Oh, nice. Here we go. I came up with a new term. <laughs> you know you know that classic term, beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Yep. How about this? Uh, mogging is in the eye of the beholder. I mean, that's true. 
That's yeah. true well, because I think <laughs> Megan Fox is really hot, and Ian thinks that mm-hmm. Megan Fox isn't that hot. Yeah, I don't think she's mogging shit. I, I, don't, I think she's mogging. I, mog I, Jessica I don't think Alba. she's. I think it. I uh, think she's minding her own business. If you're talking like Jennifer's body, Transformers one era, mm. then yeah, she might be nowadays, mogging. Optimus nowadays, not so much. Something. No, nowadays, not so much. Really? What? Mogging Optimus. Uh, she would mog Optimus any yeah. day of the week. Yeah, that's true. She would mog Shia LaBeouf. She, I mean, she did. Yeah. She showed him up. She, she was the show stealer. Bumblebee mogs her though. True. True. But, yeah. True. Uh, Bumblebee oh, was the show stealer. There. I came. I, I haven't come up with a definition of it. I just came up with the word uh, Schrodinger's mog. <laughs> what do you think that is? When uh, <laughs> so we're <laughs> you came up with the phrase first, and we're working backwards to find the definition. Yeah, either either person could be more attractive depending on what society deems is more important. Right, right. That's what I would interpret it. I as. like okay, that. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, Schrodinger's mog. Yeah. So you see two good-looking people in a picture together. Who's mogging whom? Yeah, Schrodinger's mog. Yeah. Well, society will decide. Oh, isn't I like the, that. Isn't that basically the who's punching down? Yes, thing, it is. That? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They still do that. No, but we we we're taking it back. We're basically saying like when you see two people who are attractive in a picture, mm-hmm. uh, or both not attractive, mm-hmm. you say Schrodinger's mog, mm-hmm. and that implies like, hey, they're both beautiful. Oh, they're both mogging. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Quantum mogging. Quantum mogging. <gasps> Quantum mogging. Quantum mogging. Okay, we need to get we need to tell Elon about that. Okay, get him on the phone. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm surprised that TikTok hasn't like come up with a new hot or not. Oh yeah, like, uh, remember that? Mm-hmm. Oh God. Better than. Uh, like Facebook hot or not? Because that was no. horrific. I'm trying to think. Well, that's yeah, that's a... kind of what I'm referencing. It's like, uh, fucking Mark Zuckerberg. Like one of the first things he got famous for doing was making a hot or not version, a version of hot or not for just his college. That made me and... f- fucking so. That fucked me up so bad as a kid. That hot or not shit on Facebook. Mm. Was yeah, it like gross. an app or something, or like a? It was like an extension in the that you could just do on Facebook. Yeah, and like mm-hmm. photos would come in, and oh, like that's brutal. And uh, people would vote if you were hot or not. <laughs> that that was that wasn't. They out. just pit two. They just pit two random pictures Pete of pictures. women, uh, yeah, yeah. and they're oh. like you know, it's like a rankings. Yeah, that and the honesty box. I mean, fucked me up when I was a I kid. Mean, <laughs> not <laughs> to be too up. dramatic, but I mean, hot or not is basically like a eugenics test. Yeah. Yes, it is. Like, yeah. let's narrow down the most beautiful type of person. Yeah. And we'll decide on it, you know? Yeah, no, it's fucked. Mm. It's so fucked up. Um, to so... Zuckerberg. <laughs> Suck on this, Zuckerberg! <laughs> Fuck you, Zuck. Just because you got a tan doesn't make you cool, by the way. It's more like Zucker, bitch. More like mother yeah. I like how Zuckerberg got bullied for being, like, a white pasty nerd, and now he's like, guys, I surf and I have, like, a tan now, and I and I wrestle. Look at this, guys. Take a sucker, sucker bird. I'm not a nerd, guys. I'm not a nerd. Guys, I wear gold chains now. I'm not a nerd. I'm <laughs> fucking cool like all the cool people you like. Here's the I'm thing. I'm a cool billionaire. <laughs> people did this to you, too, where, like, they thought you had a perm because you just grew your hair out and, like, uh, moisturized uh, true, it properly. People true. are like, what the fuck? You got a perm? And I think the same thing is happening with the Zuckerberg a bit where, like, people he's are learning how to take care of his hair. hair. And because better. he's always had short hair, they're right. like, what the fuck? Yeah. But you just, some people have curly like hair. and taking care of his, like, health and skin yeah. and fashion a little bit more now. Not to defend Zuckerberg, okay? Hey, listen, Suck listen. Suck on a Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg. <laughs> 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 I do like that move that you coined. What is that? Um, is it two of them? Circling, uh, that's stern? called circling the bird. Circling the bird. <laughs> I was picturing, like, I was winding my one bird around the other bird. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What I I have my own version of that. <laughs> Check right. it out for all the audio listeners. Uh, I'm. Oh wait, this probably already exists, but. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, of course. That's like the most famous one. Yeah, but I'm not bringing it up. It just starts like that. Yeah. Like, this is the rod, and this is the reel. Uh, oh, oh, you're fishing. Oh, you're yeah. fishing. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Ian's pretending to fish his bird. Oh what, man, you okay, got what a big one. Yeah, what are you what are you reeling in? A What's dog, at the end? A, a big dog, old dog. A bird dog. 
Big old Rottweiler. Huh? Whoa! What's a bird dog? Uh, like a hound dog or something like that. A dog that grabs the bird, or the quail or something, and brings it back to you. What's the after term? You shoot it. What's I think. the term bird dogging it mean? Bird dogging? Uh, that's a good point. I think that is a term. I've heard uh, that term. What does bird dogging mean? Uh. Uh. Oh, grund or present part. Oh, search out. Or peruse with dogged determination. Reporters bird dogged the candidates for several weeks. Mm, I heard somebody say bird mm. dog in it once, and I just. I... That kind of has the same energy as prairie dog in it. I thought it was racist, <laughs> it so I didn't ask more questions. Right, yeah. It, it just, sounds that way. I don't know why. It's just old timey. You just can't trust any old timey phrases because you're just like, I don't fucking know. That yeah. could be trouble. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's why I uh, always avoid calling my wife a battle axe. I don't know mm-hmm. what that means. It's Brat Summer. Really? It's Brat Summer. Did you oh, hear? I have a new. Oh, no, sorry to interrupt your Brat Summer, <laughs> but uh, I came up with a new cool character. Remember when I had that character that was like, "Oh my god, that's crazy." Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah I yeah. do. I have a new character. It's this guy. He says, "Really? Oh, really? That really? That's what you're gonna do? Really?" Really? And he can do it to anything. So, like, say say something. Just say anything right now. You. Um, really? Really? You're acknowledging your wife? Really? My, uh, I'm voting. Really? Voting? I'm, vo- I'm rocking the vote. <laughs> I'm rocking the vote this su- really? summer. Listen, Dane, no one cares what you have to say. <laughs> really? You're ignoring me? <laughs> Typical. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that guy that uh, does the um, prank... Oh, on like COD? On COD and stuff. Oh, right, right. Go ahead. Cancel me. Go ahead. Cancel, cancel me. me. Yep. I oh, like, yeah, yeah. He would. Yeah, that would be something he says. I, I do like that Um, somebody put that over the Eminem. Dude, that's so fucking awesome. Go ahead. Cancel me. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Yeah. yeah Eminem, Eminem dropped a new song. <laughs> go ahead. Cancel yeah. me. Go ahead. <laughs> I do like Blind that. people. Go ahead. Cancel me. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't <laughs> blind fans. Cancel me. <laughs> really? Really? Blind people can't hear my music. They're blind. Cancel me. Cancel me. (laughs) Guys, this is a commercial break. We have a Patreon. And guess what? We have all sorts of shit on uh, over there. Uh, They're they're on Patreon right now. No, they're not. This is fucking... Go over to Patreon. It's only $5 a month. That's probably cheaper than a lot of the subscriptions you're paying for. And it's got twice the value. You don't want to watch bullshit on, like, Discovery Plus or Disney Plus, they're going the way of the the mule. Don Cheadle. We are awesome. We are going the way of the calculator. Oh, that's not a good example. On the iPad. We're going did the way see, of the iPad did you <laughs> Pro. See, did you see the new calculator <laughs> app on the new iPad coming out, what it can do? No. Oh, man. You can, like, draw, like, a physics problem, and it will solve it for you. That's just like us. So (laughs) subscribe. Thank you. Back to the usual program. Okay. So uh, I got some (laughs) words that I want to share with you guys. Uh, Normally, I would just be sharing with you like individual words. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like I wouldn't be – this this time I'm going to be doing two words, words that sound good together. Oh. Uh, These are just off the top of my head. Wait, wait. Word couples? Yeah, word couples that go well together, I think. So they're married. They sound good to me in my head. Uh Uh-huh. You guys can give me your feelings on them. Cellar door. Not that. Oh. But maybe that's one of yours. It's a Donnie Darko reference. Mucus membrane. I hate that because it reminds me of the Mucinex uh, guy. Mm. Yeah, but it really has like a nice mucus membrane. It's like, it's quite the dance. Yeah, it's a dance. Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, I'm just telling you guys words. In case you didn't know what they were. He's saying words that pair well together and sound good to the ear. Mm -hmm. Like a wine pairing, Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Another one, Taj Mahal. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I think it's because the Aj and the Ha. Yeah, they're very... Taj Mahal. I got one. Okay. Tony Pizza. Hmm. I think... Hmm. (laughs) I think uh, it's a little sharp. 
but sharp is not bad. No. You're going for more flowy, smooth. Dane's I'm going saying, for That's what I'm hitting. saying. Mm. No. Yeah. Tony Pizza sounds like it, <laughs> it rolls off the tongue. Tony's like Pizza. Where, where'd you get... No, no Tony not, Pizza. Not Tony's that's Pizza. A, so that's someone's name. Yeah. Tony hey, what's pizza. up? I'm Tony Pizza, and th- you're watching Jackass, and he jumps into a giant vat of spaghetti sauce or something. <laughs> I do okay. agree that Tony Pizza is a good name. Of yes. a YouTuber. Of a, okay, well, yeah, someone can take that. Tony Pizza. Mm-hmm. You don't think somebody's taking Tony Pizza? I don't think so. Yeah, that's, that's such a like obvious thing, I think. No, no. Mm. Uh, there's somebody named Tony Pizza out there. I know it. Okay. Leave a comment, Tony Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my next one is also a name. Uh huh. George Lucas. No, I, I you lost me at George Lucas. It sounds good, and no. it's not even a stage name. No, it's I, just the guy's name. I think it's just maybe you've just been conditioned to think it's good. George Lucas. That does not sound. George W. Bush sounds better than George Lucas. Oh wow. Okay, so you now you support George W. Bush. Interesting. All right. Um, really. <laughs> George, my dad is rolling over in his yeah. mind prison right now hearing you say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucked up. What, uh, what is wrong with me today? I feel like I've been really out yeah. of control. It's been funny. I like it. It's I, good. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't know what's wrong. No, I, I think it's because Kamala's running. Now you're in your Brett Summer era. Oh, I'm a boss, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I, think you're, I think you're thinking of boss baby. I'm literally Boss Baby. Yeah. No, I'm not Boss Baby. Boss Baby's there's fucked a bit, up. He's there's a, a bit in Boss Baby where um, they're putting like uh, pacifiers in the baby's mouths, like mm-hmm. through a machine, like they're on a baby conveyor oh. belt. Mm-hmm. And the Boss Baby is flipped over, so his a- his naked ass is. Oh up my in the god! Air. And it's implied that the fucking pacifier is about to penetrate the baby's ass. <laughs> Are you serious? And I was like, how is it a joke in this movie? Is how that is it real? an actual joke that, yes, you can look it up. It's <laughs> fucking real. And Boss I'm like, I'm baby. glad I've never seen this movie before. I just saw somebody like talking about it. And they mentioned that. I was like, what? Is that a real fucking joke in a Boss Baby movie? That's All I know up? about Boss Baby is that he's part of the bur- bu- bourgeoisie. Uh-huh. So <laughs> the baby wazi. We don't like that. But also I heard that the spinoff show is like a lot of weird like alt-right talking points kind of there's a spin-off <laughs> show yeah <laughs> like, there's like is that the new norm <laughs> no i mean well it's kind of similar vibes he they say some weird shit in it i've seen clips of it it's, it's animated it's animated i mean it's like a 3d animated 3d animated. okay yeah, yeah. yeah. what's but, that on like disney plus or something it's probably it's on <laughs> pixar baby plus. dreamworks plus <laughs> yeah I, I don't know what uh who makes boss baby Apparently a freak. Uh, <laughs> Apparently a freak makes. Wait, Boss have Baby. you guys? Seen, I don't know. Okay, so you guys haven't seen Boss Baby. No. No. And you guys haven't seen Minions. I no. Uh, my dad actually loved Despicable Me. Okay. And I Did have you watch one, it? I watched Despicable Me one and two with my dad. Yeah. Wow. He loved Gru because mm-hmm. I think he like because he loves his daughters mm-hmm. and Gru loves his daughters really yeah it's very sweet oh, okay Gru like learns to yeah, love through his daughters yeah to me it's like i've been seeing this um and maybe dane feels the same i've just been seeing you know the minions and these mm-hmm. characters over the years and like it's been very odd to kind of like accept that it's part of the culture but i've never looked in like for all i know the minions could be the most evil things in the world no they're sweet but who knows? They're sweet, silly guys. Yeah, I, I, I just gotta take your word for it, though. We should. I okay. I'm gonna say <laughs> something brave right now. Despicable okay. Me one and two are amazing movies. Well, it sounds to me like you have like kind of some nostalgia around it because of your dad and everything. I'm not sure that that's. Other people a feel fact. the same apparently because yeah, everybody well. freaking loves Minions. Minions are the uh, yellow character of this of last uh, decade. Yep. Oh, oh true. The right. yellow. Bring oh, it back. I forgot about that. Uh, what is that? A conspiracy theory or just like a cool fact? That's just a funny. That's just a funny thing that happens. Okay. Yeah, it's a funny thing that happens. I think it was like life. it was like I think it was like Homer Simpson was '90s, SpongeBob was 2000s, Minions are 2010s. Right. Yeah. Somebody said that Minions are the Mickey Mouse of. Like this era. Oh, interesting. Like we're just gonna see them everywhere from now on until like, and they'll be associated with. 
It's cool. I like I like uh, seeing another you know brand take over the stranglehold that like Disney has. And I shit. will say, like in defense of Despicable Me, because we seem to be a, a movie buff. Oh, that's uh, a good uh, YouTube video. You should do that. In defense of Despicable Me, <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see a three-hour-long video of titled "In Defense of Despicable Me" from you. <laughs> Naming or sorry, uh, there name another animated film that follows the villain. In a fun way. Oh, do, it does that. Yeah, oh. it's all about Gru. Oh. Yeah, but Megamind also is from the same studio. Okay. And I, which one came first? Mm, I think Megamind. I remember because that's important. Okay, but um, it follows a villain. That's cool. And I, I just think it's sweet. Okay, and they do cool character exploration. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, a awesome, fresh new perspective on animated movies. Okay, my final. I would also. Oh, oh, go I'm ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. It's you. I was gonna. <laughs> I was, I was gonna on. say. I was gonna say Emperor's New Groove. Never, but never mind. Never mind. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. But the Emperor's gr uh, New Groove. That are you saying that that follows the a villain or what's the yeah? Name? It it's more of like a villain rehab mm. kind of uh, movie. I get you. Well, yeah. Like it, it Isma becomes redeem. She's silly and redeemable, but still. No, no. I'm Cusco. saying that. No, no, I'm saying that Cusco was starts out as uh, a despicable character. That's true. He's an anti-hero, though. Um, I guess also no, grew, though. I, I think he's be... unlikable for like the first half of the movie, like like genuinely, like he makes yeah. really poor decisions. Yeah. And he's, he, he's, he's mean to selfish. Everybody. Yes, he's a selfish rich person. He's spoiled. Yeah, he's spoiled. He's a spoiled brat, which yeah. is like and a he, typical he villain. That, uh, true. Yeah, valid. And I, I would say that the other villain is Isma, but she's. Honestly, kind of based. Isma is more likable than Cusco. Yeah. Yes. Even though she is scary beyond a reason. Mm. What? She's hot. That's Hello? just a line that they always say in the movie. She's slay. They describe her as scary beyond all reason multiple times. She has like, like that. <laughs> lash extensions. That yeah. Like yeah. It's so yeah. good. Committed. Um, I love that movie, but yeah. anyway. No, yeah, yeah. No, it's fair. It's a fair Before rebuttal. we get off of the movie topic, I would like to pitch the maybe the idea of us all watching a movie or a show uh, and like treating that as like a segment that we can return to on mm. the podcast at some point. Because it's been a while since I've watched a movie or a show. The last movie or show I watched was like The Curse. True. Oh. Like a long ass yeah, time Yeah, we ago. should. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're watching the boys right now. It's been a slow grind. It is fucking hard to watch that show. Um, really hard for me. Yeah, it seems like the writers like got a mega boner because they were like, "Oh shit, people are talking about our show because of the gore, like the super gory episode." Maybe we can like break some records to have like the most <laughs> fucked up shit. It's gore. And I, it's I don't sexual, like that. It's gore and sexual violence. Yeah, it's both, and like that, like. It's a lot. You and don't also get a just break. like uh, like for any like I don't I'm not too bothered by the the gore and the sexual violence um, as much as Anissa is. Yeah. Um. So I would probably be closer to their demographic that they're trying to fucking titillate. Yeah. Um. And be like, this is awesome. But uh, <laughs> I don't find it particularly awesome. It is. Uh, it it actually takes away I think a lot of the feeling that you could have in each episode yeah and it's just kind of like you know it's uh, another you become version numb to it eventually it's know? another version of like the john wick problem where it's just like yeah is this whole fucking thing gonna be choreography yeah like is that the whole movie yeah um obviously john wick has story you know yeah well, yeah, but you've got to... It's um, just like The Boys has story. It's just, you know, it's frustrating when you have some of these episodes where it seems like they want to focus. It just sucks when you... Gore. Yeah, like, unfortunately gore. for me, like, a lot of my stress responses are physical now, uh, which I did not choose and I do not like. Um, so when I'm watching something and it is um, triggering my PTSD, I hate that I... I like, even when I'm saying mm -hmm. that, I sound so... I feel like I sound stupid. But when I, my... PTSD is being triggered, I unfortunately get, like, a lot of physical manifestations, and it makes it physically hard to watch the mm -hmm. show. Like, mm -hmm. I get uh, lightheaded, nauseous, mm -hmm. um, you know, I have a fainting problem now yeah. that I have to deal with, so it's just really annoying when there's, like, no warning, and then it's like, oh, yep. I'm... Well, you can stop. I mean, I know, but I want to know what happens, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
I guess. I'm just saying, maybe we could pick something like a movie or something that yeah. I'll give no, you no. guys a break I, from it or something that I we could totally all watch agree. And, and talk about later. We should do that. Um, yeah, I think uh, you know one that's been on our list is the one that you had mentioned, Dane, with Nicolas Cage. Um, yeah. I think we should oh, watch Dream that. Dream Scenario? Yeah. I want to watch Long Legs, but I'm scared oh, that that yeah, is oh, a yeah. movie. Uh, Another Nick Cage movie. Yeah. yeah. I, I heard that it's more Silence of the Lambs than score uh, jump yeah. scare stuff. Oh, you know what you guys should so, watch? Because hmm. um, people were comparing Long Legs to this, and it's one of my favorite shows ever, is um, True Detective. Oh, I, think you guys would really I had like that True recommended to me multiple times. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, I think you I think you both would love Wait, the first season of True Detective. Yeah, that's like an HBO show or something, right? Yep. Okay, hmm. cool. Yeah, okay, that... that that helps. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, sick. Wicked. I like that suggestion. It's good to, I think, have a uh, a segment like that to return to because movies are grand and mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's yeah, they're magical. Yeah. They allow us to connect. Magically delicious. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. My last word, my final word from the word segment is dedotated wham. Oh, yeah. Dedotated that wham. That is a is good word. I like awesome. those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, now I'm on to a new segment. This one is, I think, a little bit more uh, eccentric mm -hmm. of me, perhaps. Um, you're, you're saying that after you just made a segment of words that you like together. Yeah, well, we'll see what you think. All right. Uh, I think when adults do a name change, it should be them choosing a more formal name. So I don't think Snoop Dogg should have gone with, like, Snoop Lion. Yeah. I think he should have gone with Snoop Thaniel or Snoopsworth or Mr. Snoop. <laughs> Mr. Snoop. Um, <laughs> so you're talking about somebody who, like, is famous mm -hmm. and wants to, like, they're like, I'm they want to redesign, era, yeah, and they want to redesign their identity. So, like, uh, I think it should always be formal, right? What do you think about speaking of formal, like, uh, uh, sign formerly known as Prince? What the hell is that? Is Wasn't, that a thing? Didn't Prince like change his name to like a sign? Yeah, he, he changed it to like a symbol. A symbol, oh. yeah, a yeah. symbol, and then and then, re, re, and then formally after. known as Prince. Oh. It was like symbol formally because it's as like Prince a something because it's like a yeah the artist formerly known as Prince is how people had to refer to him because yeah, the symbol I don't think had a you couldn't say it it was just a thing. Yeah. yeah. So the artist formerly known as, as Prince do is that that's, formal enough for you? That sounds pretty formal. Yeah, true. Formally, I known gotta see as. this now. You now it's. You're making me curious. I want to know what this symbol is. The symbol? It's, I um, think it. Yeah, it just looks like a music note plus like a. I was picturing, male. yeah, like an ampersand. <laughs> just like yeah. an ampersand. It is says, no. It, hey, it is very is, similar to that. Okay, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. Um, and then I put on here like another example of this is like if Carrie Underwood wanted to change her name, she should go with Catherine Underwood. Here you go. Catherine. Oh yeah. Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, I've that, seen that. That's Prince's like, name. Uh, that's Prince's name. Oh my. That's Prince's God. name. God. Mm -hmm. But you can't say it. No. So formerly no. known as Prince. Man. Yeah, Catherine Underwood. Catherine Underwood. Yeah. I like that. I mean, less to than Carrie. Own. That's okay. like a. That's like when she's in trouble. Her mom says that. <laughs> Catherine, Catherine Underwood. Underwood. <laughs> uh, and Uncle Dane should be changed to. Uh, Unctavian. Ooh. Oh. Unctavian. Unctavian Nathaniel. <laughs> I think it's more formal, maybe. Yeah, Unctavian Nathaniel. Unctavian Nathaniel. <laughs> yes. Unctavian the third. Mm. Unctavian Nathaniel the third at your service. I do like that. What about you? You'd be like, I dubitably? I did a thing. <laughs> uh, oh that goes into my time travel theory <laughs> um, how about i dubbing smith i oh, dubbing mm -hmm. yeah i dubbing smith mm -hmm. i like i dubitably <laughs> uh, uh, i dubbington is it maybe okay i dubbington yeah okay oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. i dubbington i dubbington the uh, a the alien <laughs> <laughs> the, the alien <laughs> <laughs> yeah like megan the stallion yeah, yeah. What about yeah. Sawiti? What would she change her name to? Uh, Sally. Sweetie something Pumpkin. like completely different. Sally Wheaton. Uh, oh, Sally Wheaton. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
formerly or, uh, known as Sawiti. Right. Sally Weetabix. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so that is it for all of the insane things that I've written down. Okay. Speaking of cereal, I tried um, golden, <gasps> what is it? Grahams. Golden Grahams. Golden Grahams. Yeah. They are very delicious shards of glass. Yes, thank you. They <laughs> because are awesome. whenever I poured them into my bowl, it literally sounded like I was pouring glass into a bowl. Yeah. And I was like, this is awesome. And they made so a very good. satisfying sound. Yeah. So just to let everybody know, Dane is in his cereal arc right now. So I suggested that he try <laughs> Golden Grams because I love Golden Grams. The other cereal I really like is French Toast Crunch. And I think everyone should enjoy the pleasures of French Toast Crunch. If you haven't, you should find it and buy it. It. Uh, so Dane tried Golden Grams and uh, he freaking loved it. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> for the summer. <laughs> I think it's important. I think everyone should enjoy French Toast Crunch, Golden Grams, and that's it. Uh, yeah. I have a new one though for you because whenever I was getting cereal, uh, I was like, oh, you know what I haven't tried in a while that I used to love mm. was um, Cinnamon Life. Oh, and that is really good. I love Cinnamon Life. Oh. It it hit years later. It still hits. Wow. You know what cereal I convinced myself I liked, but I I didn't actually like, and I think most people did this. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple Jacks. Oh. oh. I don't think people actually liked Apple Jacks. I think we lied to ourselves because uh, we know. liked the branding. I think. It, oh yeah, the branding was top tier. Yeah, like one of the best. Yeah, he would say, "Me want Apple Jacks." He would turn into <laughs> like an Apple Jack critter. But like, if we had, if you had to <laughs> choose between a bowl of like Reese's Puffs or right. Apple Jacks, mm, yeah, you're not. There's not much. It's that hard we, because Apple Jacks is in a weird category, yeah. right? Where it's not like one of these fruity cereals necessarily. Like it, it's like too candy apple. When you compare it to a Trix or a uh, what's that other one with uh, the Pebbles? toucan? Oh, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Yeah, yeah. All those kind of things. It's like, well, those are all like very fruity. Mm -hmm. Apple Jacks is like just apple. Yeah. Well, like, I remember the branding all the time. The kid would take a bite in this commercial, mm -hmm. and he would say, "It doesn't taste like apple." And then the the person would be like, "Well, that's the coolest thing about it," and they, or something oh. like. Yeah. The oh, gimmick was that it didn't taste like apples. It did taste like candy apple, though, which I didn't like. So I never understood why they said that, because I was like, eh, it tastes close enough. Yeah, I think it tasted like apples. That I, is interesting. Yeah. We should, uh, that might be a good video. I think like they were a good, coping. Uh, like <laughs> four hour long video essay, like what is the flavor of Apple Jacks? Yeah. And uh, I think I could get down to the bottom of that. <laughs> Because I I I think they were coping with their flavor not being very good. I think it's more like a Dr. Right. Pepper thing. No, no, I think that they... Where they just couldn't come up with a fucking name for it that was accurate. No, it's it's bad tasting apple. And they were like, it doesn't taste like apple. It tastes like something completely different. Because if you compare it to apple taste, it is bad. But it's bad. It's just bad apple. Okay. It's a bad apple. Oh, wow, interesting. Yeah. Well, I will say, the apple in the promotion was like a more... The cringier... It was like a bad apple. Yeah. Because he was like... Ah! <laughs> that was like the, later, I think. That, that it was, was. Like way later down the line. What happened yeah, to course. the Rastafarian cinnamon stick? Oh, oh yeah, here I am. I got my M cinnamon. Oh, they gentrified him. They did. Uh, they got rid of his dreads. Yeah, it's hell? really fucked up. Uh, yeah. well, he was cinnamon. I know. Uh, yeah. But man, the coloring scheme was so cool. That like slime green. Gentrified and the... cinnamon uh -huh. or boss babe green M and M, or uh, sorry, lesbian ant green M and M because now she's got the the Keds on sneakers oh, instead of the high heels. I mean, I'll take the lesbian ant. Okay, we're all lesbian ants. Remember? Oh yeah, true. There's yeah. a lesbian ant in each one of us. <laughs> um, we're all asexual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite of? Do they have a name for uh, something that isn't sexually dimorphic? Is there like a word for that? Yeah, uh, asexual. No, no. Sexually dimorphic is like b between the two sexes of like an animal. There's no difference. If there's no difference, uh -huh. it's an asexual being because they don't reproduce sexually. No, it's not a matter of like, no. 
No, because sexual dimorphism is the uh, the visual appearance of one of the sexes looking like visibly different. Oh, okay, yeah, you yeah, know, you're correct. I'm sorry. And I'm wondering, like, if it, like, maybe the term cis or something like that, if there is like a, a negative that describes just what is like the regular, what is like a lot of animals, basically. Mm. I don't know if there is. I don't know. Yeah. I'll. I'll hey, you in the audience. If you have a degree, let me know. Or if you just really like animal facts about Or if you have access stuff. to Google. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but do at least an hour of research before posting your comment. And post all of your references in uh, AP format. I don't think And they... show us your belt in Google Foo. Ooh. <laughs> it has to be brown or higher. Yeah. Brown or bust. Well, it can be black belt as well. No, <laughs> I only want to hear from brown belts. <laughs> um, just, there's a special place in my heart for brown belters. Oh, that's nice. What, you got a wedgie? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, audio listeners. I was uh, readjusting my new jorts. Those aren't new. Are those new? He's picking the wedgie out of his yeah. crack. Oh, they're new. Um, yeah, they're corduroy shorts. From Amazon. Corduroy, another great word. I don't. Yeah. I hate that word. Corduroy? Yeah. It's hard for Why? me to say. Because it sounds like you got oh. quarters in your mouth. It sounds like you got a lot of stuff in your mouth. The word does feel in the mouth the way that material, like it's accurate. Oh, okay. Awesome. But I don't like it. Oh, you don't like this material? No. I mean, I do like it visually. I don't like it sensory wise. Okay. So in the same way, terry cloth, I hate What's terry cloth? Um, uh, there was a while where like terry cloth was like very popular it was like it's like a thin some cloths are made out of it it's like a very thin cloth that is like bumpy almost mm. I don't know oh to describe like it. a like a dish rag they make clothes out of it sometimes how would you spell it like a person's name i don't i think it's i actually don't know how you spell it uh, uh, -E oh yeah yeah t-e-r-r-y yeah oh terry cloth is gross it's gross and it feels gross uh, a lot of towels, yeah. I feel like, are made out of, like, it, they almost uh, have, like, a terry cloth towels. vibe to it. Yeah. So I have two, maybe even more, blankets yeah. that I use all the time that are terry cloth in, in texture. That would make me freak the fuck out if I touched them. I, I would don't go think... Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Same with. We should start doing that on the podcast. We should really like adopt that as a um, as a punchline. Like, act out physically, like how something makes you feel. That's literally what I would do, though. Because I also, you know, what else makes me do that? Um, when my finger tips or nails rub on. Um, oh right. Uh, on a cardboard. Oh, okay. For me, it's like when I touch a super clean dish that's fresh out of the uh, dishwasher, I'm like. <laughs> 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 you kind of reminded me of um, something from Smiling Friends there. Oh, nice. <laughs> I kind of like that. The, it, that doesn't do it to me. Uh, hair, wet hair. Hmm. I don't mind that. Man, we're on two different wavelengths. It's cool though. That this yeah. means I can clean out our drains. That's true. Effortlessly. Yeah. This and I means... can take out uh, the pots and pans and plates yeah. out of the dishwasher. I'm trying to think. I I don't think I have any like textures where I have that sort of like icky reaction to it. Really? It feels like my body literally yeah. is like wanting to get away from itself. I don't know how else to describe it. Like I my... just can't think of any. I'm N sure, I, nails I, on I chalkboard. I want to say there is. Yeah, I don't really like. I feel like it depends because oh. I feel like if I'm prepared for it, it's easier for me to just be fine with it. What about Dane? But what if about... it comes out of nowhere, then I think it's it's worse. What about styrofoam? It's more of a jump scare. No, I, I I'm fine with styrofoam. Mm. I, don't know. I can struggle with styrofoam sometimes. Styrofoam is really hard. <laughs> styrofoam's really hard. Really? Yeah. Mm. Styrofoam's really hard. I hate unpacking things. I hate it. Mm. Uh, hmm. It's very hard for yeah. me. Yeah, makes all sorts of heinous noises. Yeah, when you're like pulling like a big TV out of styrofoam. Oh yeah, for sure. I know uh, that sound. Yeah. It just doesn't um, give me that reaction. Yeah, makes me want to. trying to think. Crawl on my skin. I think we need to upend the styrofoam industry. We do. We do. This end up. 
That's the documentary we're going to use to expose it. <laughs> Just crinkle up some paper and throw it in there. Yeah, I trust paper. Yeah. <laughs> More so than styrofoam. All of my homies trust paper. Yeah, styrofoam. Yeah, at least paper deteriorates. Yeah, I don't think styrofoam even, does. You can't no. even recycle styrofoam. Bro, I'm like sitting on like five bags of styrofoam that me and my wife bucked up. Yeah. And put in trash bags and we're just like feeding it slowly into the 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 garbage garbage because you can't fucking recycle it. That's like, true. We're hoarding a lot of styrofoam right now. Mm. Yeah. I mean some people you should know. put it on the curb and say free styrofoam. Oh, yeah. you think people will date? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny, though. Yeah, and there's like not even much, very much like cool shit you can do with it. Like, no. I've seen now that I've like started to have like a little bit more eye for like, oh, I want to craft things with wood. When I'm seeing people like put out like their old fucking bed frame, I'm like, oh, I can make some coasters out of that. Yeah. Oh, I can make a thing. Ian wants Ian's in his wood making art. I really want to make some wood, but I'm learning oh. that it's going to be a little <laughs> what. <laughs> What? <laughs> this audio of you. Quiet. I really want to make some wood. <laughs> what, is it, what do you mean, make some wood? Hey, hey people who know, know. I want to craft. <laughs> I want to start crafting. I really want to make um, some wood. <laughs> I, I was really curious about the etymology of the word styrofoam because the wor the more you guys were saying it, the more it started to sound like a, like a made-up word. Yeah. You know, ever have that happen? Yeah. Yes. So I was like, what the fuck is styro? Uh -huh. And Google says styro normally alludes to, and this is like a great like string of words. It alludes to extended polystyrene froth. Oh my, froth? Oh. <laughs> extended polystyrene froth. froth. Extended polythyrene froth. <laughs> I order that on my cappuccinos. Nice. <laughs> can yeah. You, can, can I get we... extra? Can I get some extended polystyrene froth on that? That's extra hot. Be an extra piece? fifty cents. Yeah. You just put like a disc of styrofoam on your. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I guess it comes from the word polystyrene, styrofoam. Right. But I guess froth is how it might be before it's hardened. I, I just think froth being in that. Yeah. Word well, is froth might be a. That might be a technical word to describe what it is before, like a fucking solidifier is added or something. I'm like I've only heard the word is, froth. I want to say froth is just the air in a liquid or something like that. Well, yeah, I mean, it does look like solidified froth. Yeah. So it's the solidified primordial froth. Oh, I fucking googled froth. <laughs> 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 oh, what the hell? Looks down. What the fuck? What happened? <laughs> I just found out that I Googled frog. <laughs> a mass of small bubbles in a liquid caused by agitation, fermentation, uh, etc. Foam. Uh, and it shows pictures of sponges, which is like a solid. Oh. Right. Sponge is a solid. Yeah, but it's frothed. But it is froth at the start, I think. And then it hardens. I got to figure out how fr f uh, hardened what is it froth. How like well, what's the sponges difference are between made? Froth and foam. I know. <laughs> well, foam. Wait, I think they're interchangeable. Really? I think so. Like, like if sponge you sponge froth. <laughs> well, I will say it has the verb for froth on here, which is I think our typical usage of the word froth. Like frothing. Form something. or contain a rising or overflowing mass of small bubbles. Yeah, like you can froth something to make a foam. You can both froth and foam at the mouth whenever you see something you like, like a Funko Pop or something. So <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, froth, foam. <laughs> uh, well, I'm looking up to see if they're the same thing. Yeah. Um, Look up uh, thesaurus. Uh, they're basically the same thing in regular usage. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Okay. Okay, um, English so is interesting. That's what you call a synonym. Yeah. I love that cinnamon. This is what you call it. Here I cinnamon. am. I, here I come. I am cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon. Uh, I'm sorry, Dan. You were you were doing it, and I was like, I gotta beat him to the no, punch. Cinnamon. No, you're right. No, I actually fucked it up because I said, "Here I come." Oh, <laughs> here okay. I go. Uh, <laughs> I am no, arriving. I, no, I, I am think here I, Isn't it here I come? I am cinnamon. Yeah. So actually, so. what I said was, "Here I am." Oh. Oh, I said, I, "Here I am." <laughs> rocked you like a hurricane. I am cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> the cine man. Here I am. I am cine. That's like the truly 
like whitewashed. Yeah. Here I am. I am. I am City Man. Oh, I yeah. am City Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I'm a City they Man. They just completely removed his Jamaican descent, descended tree or yeah. whatever you call. He's a City Man now. Uh, so, Here I am. I'm a City Man. Someone so. is saying foam implies larger bubbles than froth, uh, so we can. I think they're making that up. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> You're probably yeah. right. <laughs> what if they turned Cinemon into a city man and he was 6'5", blue eyes, and in finance? Oh, my God. I thought... <laughs> do you think they would do that to him? It's really weird. I thought that was like a Michael Thomas White lyric or something. That does sound like that. Yeah. It's not, though. Yeah, it does. That was the what if you went to woman. What if you went to a coffee shop and then the barista was like, do you want any froth? Oh, they do. I mean, you can get cold froth. Cold foam? Yeah, well, no, that's foam. what I'm saying. I but normally they say foam. Yeah. Do you think maybe? Do you Sometimes think maybe I when think, I think they say, they say froth? Do you want froth? Really? Yeah. Well, I literally have never heard that. Yeah. Like when you're making a latte with a lot of froth in it, like more froth, the extra froth, whatever. <laughs> I've never extra heard foam. anyone say froth though. That's, oh yeah. I think that's why I'm pointing that out. No, because you're right. they always say foam. The more I'm saying it, the more stupid I feel. So. No, no, no. They, they well, definitely <laughs> say it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've gone. Really? Yes. Am I being absolutely. gaslit? I don't know what's happening. No, you're not being gaslit. It just doesn't happen as often as foam, uh, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think depending on the context, like uh, a very uh, expensive uh, place, mm -hmm. uh, I think usually refers to froth. Mm. Um, oh, froth is fancier than foam. I think you so. Think? I think so. Sea oh. froth. See, I worked at Starbucks, so we were just on our phone. Like foam mm. was like the ba we were basic. Yeah. <laughs> but you go to a super fancy one mm -hmm. that says "fuck Starbucks" or corporate. They say, do you want any froth? It's weird because their brains do think that way. They're like, how do we <laughs> separate ourselves? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, when you're designing like a new, that's when I was, when I was doing my uh, video about strip malls, I found it so fascinating, the like gentrification of strip malls and how people are, uh, if you you have a strip mall in a rich area, it's going to be called shops with a P P E S. Yeah, because the whole purpose is to give it this old world feel. In some cases, like a maybe a more French, a more whiteified feel. Old money. Feel. Yes. Uh, whereas if you're in fucking some random part of L A. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be called fucking Plaza. Yeah. You know, center. Mm. Yeah. Uh, maybe slightly richer with a center spelled with a R E at the end. As a Canadian, that's the only way. Yeah, that's what yeah. my phone always corrects center to. Mm. It always it gets mad at me when I try to type center the other way. And yeah. what's the other one? Uh, prom or theater? Oh, theater. No, there's one that is an O U. Color. Color. There's another oh. one as well. Do they do that with favorite? Yeah, favorite. That's the one. Okay. I always spell it favorite the way that I was taught, and then my phone's always like, no, I no, no, I love no, no. that way of spelling it. Yeah. It's a, it's a sexier way to spell it. It also just makes more sense. Perhaps. Or, or. You're not going to convince me by doing that. Well, <laughs> it adds it adds another syllable, I think. It forces you to add another syllable, because mm -hmm. I, mean, I think Americans just say favorite, like with two. Instead of but favorite. 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 Because, I mean... The word that it's based on is favor, mm -hmm. which has two syllables. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying favorite, you're saying three syllables. Mm -hmm. no, so it true. makes sense. It makes sense to pronounce the three syllables. Yeah. And when you spell it like that, like emphasizes it. Mm -hmm. The end. Canadians. Can't live with them. Huh? Can't live without them. Announcing the divorce. <laughs> oh. I can't live with her. Can't live with them. Uh, divorce. No, but I actually love her, though, for real. Whoa, Ian kind of, like, looked weirdly off camera there, like he was, like, responding to, like, some sort of higher power that had a gun to his head. I think there's somebody that off say camera that? that might be, yeah. Six, that may be forcing you to say that, I a think. A six-foot-five guy with Let's, blue eyes. In finance. <laughs> and holding a gun to my head, mogging yeah. the F out of me. Yeah. <laughs> say you love say your wife. Say you love your wife. <laughs> Jinx. You owe Don't, me a... Don't perpetuate Dr. that Pep. fucking I, rumor. I owe you a froth. We perpetuate that rumor. Oh, her boyfriend did. Oh, nice of her boyfriend <laughs> to let her husband True. record a fucking podcast. No, I'm looking at the monitor. There's a monitor here, monitor here, monitor, monitor there. there. Yeah, someone monitoring you. 
No. Monitoring Three your every move. Three boyfriends. <laughs> oh, no. Three boyfriends, oh, all with God. guns. <laughs> all in All finance. with Nintendo Switches saying, you can have this if you fucking finish this podcast. <laughs> no, <laughs> listen, guys. I'm mogging them, okay? <laughs> they, they are all holding the video cameras right now. Go to the different cameras. They're all oh. holding these cameras. This guy. They're very steady hands. This guy's holding this camera. You loser. Hold it still, loser. <laughs> Wow, it worked. Yeah. Because he's holding it really still. Yeah. yeah. He's doing a good job. Good job, Ian. Yes. Wait, hey. How about, what? wait, it, did we send one of my boyfriends to Dane's house? Oh, huh? true. He's holding, yeah, he's holding this camera. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, you know, he's, he's sitting on Dane's desk like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just holding the webcam. He's got um, calves of steel, actually. That's what... <laughs> I love that jutting jaw you did. Yeah, because he's trying the, to. Oh! Ah! oh. <laughs> okay. But uh, for cursed. the audio listeners, my uh, mic arm just like fucking collapsed. He literally ripped the arm off of this poor end table. You ripped Damn. its uh, arm off. Yeah. Ian, you're really strong. <laughs> he's really strong. He's trying to. He's making sure that everybody knows that he's mogging. I'm mogging yeah. today. He's mogging yeah. the mic arm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I haven't taken the day off mogging. Dane, what? Fill in the fill in the the dead space. Drinks water. <laughs> um, what? Check this out. Tell me. Whoa, Dane yeah. just mogged his cameraman by Look crunching his uh, crunching his water bottle. That's that's kind of the amount of power that you're gonna see from this uh, this guy. You you freaking! I think you did that with your mind. I feel like we if we saw inside of this guy's head, we would keel over maybe. Damn, okay. you ripped that. I think right we're off good. The... Yeah, it's. Uh, I need to make some woodworking adjustments to this uh, table that we have here. Mm. Um, I'm gonna mm. add a, a French cleat to it. <laughs> You're obsessed with these French cleats, though. I've noticed. Yeah, it's the ultimate. Uh, type of cleat. I bet there's going to be a lot of carpenters who are like the French cleat is a noob trap. You're going to have to go with the Russian <laughs> roulette or whatever they say. <laughs> Russian roulette. Russian that's roulette. another good word. Right. Yeah, Russian roulette. <laughs> that's cool. That's. I mean, that's a really yeah. That's a scary one. Yeah. It's not cute. No. It's kind of. Have you seen that um video of that reporter that's interviewing this like infamously fucking insane dude? I, I wish I could remember the back story of it at all, but it's an Australian dude and he like says he wants to play Russian roulette with her Oh! and he like actually does. He like spins the gun and fucking he's like, oh, I know a trick to make sure that it doesn't I, shoot you. I don't know why that sounds so familiar to me. Yeah, I saw the clip and he does. He like holds it up to her head and fires the gun. Yeah, and then he gets and then he, blasted. No, no, he doesn't. Oh. He, he does it to himself and he doesn't. And then they like both like awkwardly laugh. And I was like, man, that is the bravest human being. I do not being. like that. She, I... I don't know. It's crazy to watch. I, I wish I knew more context. Somebody will probably know in the comments, but um, or if you find it, it's crazy. I don't know. Reporters sometimes. I'm like, you have fucking nards. Yeah, for real. So, I wonder what the etymology of nards is. You mind looking that probably up? Probably like. Um, well, here's my guess. <laughs> Gonads. Uh huh. Oh, gonads, tenards. Yeah, okay. Tenards. That's my oh. guess. But let me do some. Wait, nard uh, isn't. I've heard brown nards brown before. Gugufu. What is that? Nards? Yeah. Balls. No, no, no. It's like a makeup line. No, nars. Okay. <laughs> N A R S. <laughs> nars. I have a lot of nars products. Mm. So you, I think you probably see it on my. <laughs> I see it at the yeah. store. I see yeah. nar nars at the store. It's very popular. When I go to Sephora and I fucking strut around. Yeah. I pick up all the while Anisa's looking at all sorts of makeup products, mm -hmm. I go straight over to the scents aisle. Yeah. And I sniff all of the scents. Yeah. With his big old sniffer. Yeah. The um uh etymology of because I, I there's probably people I think I've explained it once, but like because we're talking about etymology and, like, the evolution of things. My nickname is kind of, like, the progression that you went through, Dane. Uh, when I was a mm. kid, my 
uh, my nickname was Greasy. Did I ever explain? <laughs> I, I don't know if I did, but yeah, yeah, I think yeah. So. My nickname was Greasy, and it was assigned to me by my older brother. And it was it was Anisa, Anisi, uh, or no, Anisa, Agrisa, Agreasy, Greasy. So now mm. Anisa the Greasy, my Twitter handle. That's why my name is Anisa. It's so good. I like it. Yeah, it's my favorite. I thought you were going to point out how I'd call you AJ, and mm. I thought I was original in that, but no, no, no. people call you that before. I went by AJ from when I was in grade six until uh, my first year of college, and then when I was in college, I was like, I should probably stop running from my, like, Arab name, because that's kind mm. of like, uh, a lot of, like, people, like, I have a lot of relatives that go by RJ, TJ, like, MJ, you know, um... And I, I was like, well, I don't really want to. I was like, I'll just go by AJ. So I did that for like, yeah, a lot of my life. I respond to AJ yeah. like like I do Anissa. It sucks IJ doesn't have the same ring to it. Yeah, IJ doesn't really work. Yeah. Oh, well. I know. No, I I, I kind of wish that I had a nickname like that. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, I, I self-imposed it, you know, I, I just like, because mm -hmm. on your forms at school, I remember when I was going to junior high, they ask you, like, what do you prefer being called? And I put AJ on all of my forms. So all my teachers called me AJ. Everybody called me AJ. Right. So I, it was a self-imposed nickname for sure. But and also, <laughs> Anissa sounds like a ballerina name. And I don't think it just, I just feel like yeah. Anissa doesn't mm -hmm. suit me. That's fair. You know, like AJ suits me. I feel like if somebody was like, Oh, do you want to meet my friend AJ? And I showed up. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, "That makes sense." Oh yeah, that's Anissa AJ. Right. is like, a, like yeah, a very mm -hmm. pretty like ballerina. I actually think about like a uh, somebody that, for some reason who comes to mind for Anissa is um, uh, Shay Ted Nivison's partner. Oh, she, she seems looks like, like an Anissa, Anissa to me. Interesting. Yeah. So it just felt like I don't know. Yeah. Natalie Portman looks like an Anissa. Yes, that's another one. Natalie Portman. Yeah. So a nard, I think uh, it just like came out of nowhere or something. Yeah. When I looked mm -hmm. it up just now, I I got there's some old English and Latin words, but it's like a some completely Greek. different word. Mm. It's not the same thing. Nards. It's like a spice or something. Nards. Nard. Did you go ever go by anything other than Ian? Uh, Ian the alien. That's it. Uh. Uh, well, I mean, uh, the the name I Dubs for anyone who doesn't know that was actually given to me mm -hmm. in high school film class. We were doing like uh, this guy that I was doing a, a pro film project with. He like I don't know if it was for the. I think he just uh, liked giving people their like cool like hip hop name, <laughs> and so he called me I Dubs, and I was like, oh shit, like that's cool because my yeah. last name started with a W, so. Yeah. Uh, e and W I dubs. Um, yeah. uh, but other than that, not really. You also put... uh, Jordan calls me Ethan sometimes yeah. for fun. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Jordan loves doing that. You added the two B's to I dubs because I dubs I D U B Z was taken. Yeah. Yeah. Not complicated. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. She got to do what she can. Because the three B's. I mean, you said for a while it was like. Boobs, bikes, and beer, or yep. something like that. Boobs, but it was, <laughs> it was literally because I dubs yeah. was taken, which I I think I dubs with three Bs looks better. Better. It it gets fucking lost. You think so? Yeah, it might make it more like symmetric in some way, but it definitely like when people people misspell it all the time, mm -hmm. and even I have to like make sure when I'm like writing my email address or something, I'm like one, two, yeah, three. I'm like carefully. <laughs> Hitting the same number or the same letter. Yeah. Multiple times. Uh, but yeah, we are at the end of the podcast, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to go subscribe to our Patreon. Only five bucks a month. Cheap as hell. And um, no ads. Keep, uh, just keep your head up. Or keep your head down, whatever your intentions are. It doesn't really matter. Your crown is falling. Uh, if your crown's falling, keep it on your head, king, queen. Uh, everything in between and everything in between and uh go pet your dog today they miss you or cat or lizard or bird bye hasta la vista baby